8 to more than 12 percent. The child poverty rate, and this is one that really jumped out at me, has more than doubled during that same time. Not only is he wrong, yeah. he's hurting people. Yeah, he's hurting people. He's hurting people. Particularly children with his policies. Marie. Oh, the old For the Children Republican Act. Never seen this one before. And Marie ain't playing this game, Faulkner. Ain't playing. Well, he's actually passed legislation to help reduce child poverty, which most Republicans voted against. So we have to be honest about the facts here. You can find lots of facts and figures on both sides here. Wages are outpacing inflation. We have can, the can lowest we inflation the rate among the G7. Can we stay with the children for just a second, though? Because they can't is, get jobs. Yeah, can we just stay with the children? For, for the children. What the F is she talking about? She's literally part of the party that's pushing child labor. They are literally in the process of pushing child labor policies as we speak. Are you going to bring that up, lady? So this the wages don't matter to the children who are now doubled numbers from what they were in poverty. And, and it is lipstick on a pig. Lipstick on a pig is your entire message for this segment. Any segment. Faulkner, you are the definition of lipstick on a pig. Pig. If you go into the dictionary, and if they had multiple words in a dictionary as one definition, your face would be there for lipstick on a pig. If you tell me that you want to blame Republicans and anybody else, they vote against it, Harris. Biden. They vote against legislation that helps children get out of poverty. That's just a fact. And I love it when Republicans do this. You got two Republicans on the left, and you got the one person with some logic and common sense on the right. And she's speaking common sense. And instead of being able to rebuttal anything she's saying, what is the one on the far left doing? <laughs> <laughs> like laughing and smiling and nodding your head says everything that needs to be said. I don't even need to say anything because <laughs> what you're saying is so ridiculous. All I need to do is shake my head and smile. And then the other one is Harris Faulkner like this. Because <laughs> neither of them have any substance to bring to this conversation. None of them can rebuttal the fact that Republicans took away the child tax credit. The Democrats warned at the Republican Party, if you do this, it is going to double the child poverty rate. And how do we know that? Because this chopped it in half. Because this chopped it in half. So once we take it away, it's going to go back to double, which is the old normal. So stop pretending like it just doubled out of nowhere, like it doubled from the normal. No, it doubled from the Democrats cutting it in half. Okay. And so look, I will agree though, that there is still economic pain out there. And so the Biden team has as their job to make the case to the American people, why these numbers that in many cases are good, not all, why they are better than what the alternative would be if Donald Trump is reelected. And speaking of what Joe Biden is at fault for here, he's the biggest bitch in the country. And I said it back then. The only reason that we lost it, three reasons, the Republicans, Joe Manchin, and then Joe Biden for not holding Joe Manchin's feet to the fire. Because Joe Manchin has a criminal daughter that ripped off the entire American people for the EpiPen. And EpiPen, the American people, paid to fuck in the first place. Okay, so all Joe Biden had to do was say, hey, I was thinking about sending the DOJ over to your daughter's house. Get on board, bitch. But he didn't do that because he's a weak bitch himself. So that's who's at fault.